How to set up Postscript on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. And today we are diving into the world of SMS marketing with a comprehensive tutorial on how to set up Postscript on your Shopify account. If you're looking to supercharge your marketing efforts and engage with your customers in a more personal and effective way, then this guide is for you. So before we begin, let's talk about why SMS marketing matters. Well, with email inboxes overflowing and social media feeds becoming, well, crowded, I guess. Well, using SMS again offers a direct and highly effective way to reach your audience. So, well, some research showed that SMS messages have open rates of like around 98%, making it one of the most powerful tools in your marketing arsenal. It's been a, a, a fad before of using SMS as a way to market your products. Then it went a bit down when the internet popped in and messenger, messengers and message, messaging apps appeared. So I guess now it's rising up again. So... Let's go and try and using Postscript in your Shopify uh, website or Shopify store and see how to manage and handle this um, account, okay? So let's get started with the uh, setup process. So first is we're going to have to uh, sign up an account with Postscript. So here in Postscript, to be able to get an account, so just log in your email and put in the details of your shop, okay? Now, you can go head over to the website, create an account, and then just install Postscript, uh, the Postscript app on your Shopify store. So you can find this in the Shopify app store and just follow a few clicks to install it. So just click Add Apps. And then you can go search it here, or if it doesn't load, try to go to Shopify's App Store. So once the apps are loaded, so just type in Postscript. And here comes the details of Postscript. It shows in your uh, what are av what's available, etc. So here's Postscript SMS marketing. So it has a rate of uh, 4.9 out of 5 stars. Okay, so once this one is installed, so you can try clicking install and then open the app. So you just need to put in some details regarding your online store. And once it loads up, you can see this dashboard. So here in the dash dashboard, you can see um, the different campaigns that you have set up here. Okay. So... When your store is connected, so the next step here is to set up the opt-in forms uh, on your Shopify website. And this form will allow your customers to opt-in to receive the SMS messages from your store. So this can be a pop-in, a uh, pop-up. And here in Postscript, you can uh, customize your forms and add it to your store pages easily. So, of course, you need to make sure it's uh, strategically placed. So you'll be able to get more conversions. So once your opt-in forms are in place, so it's time to create your first SMS campaign. So let's go and browse around the Postscript website. So here I do have some announcements that I need to fill in. So your billing information, uh, your compliance updates, your toll-free number, etc. So in the dashboard, you see the summary of the different campaigns that you have, how much you have earned, how much, how many are your subscribers, who unsubscribe, etc. So you'll have an idea if your uh, SMS campaigns are being effective or they're being annoying to your uh, subscribers, okay? So here in the messaging tab, so you can click it and see your campaigns, okay? So in the campaigns, you can create one and see or be able to have an idea what info you'd like to share to your customers. So they have some pre-made templates here. So let's say for an event like Valentine's Day, um, 
get your customers, get to know your customers' day, first day, etc. So you can just customize it. So let's try picking one like this one for brand awareness and confirm. Okay, now. Okay, so this template here is, uh, you can add an image or a contact card if you want. So let's try browsing for any sample images here, okay? Okay, so we just need one that's uh, lower than 200, uh, uh, 750 or 500 kilobytes. So let's say, let's say this is your uh, sample image, okay? So not all countries or mobile carriers do support images, okay? So you just need to know which one is... Uh, applies to your country okay so here's the pre-made template so you can edit it depending on what you want to inform your customer so you can say we have a discount code available to all our sms subscribers and then you'll be able to see how much characters have you been using so maybe if you try to use emojis it'll cost a bit more depending on what you type so you can also add links to your website to the areas that you want your customers to click and you can also add a reply uh for the unsub uh to unsubscribe okay so once you've able to uh fill it up you'll be able to see a sample message or a sample preview of your sms message here on the side and you can also even send a sample text message to yourself so once you're done with that you can click save and continue to preview then let's see what appears here okay so here's your the uh, summary of your campaign details and then once you start this campaign you can also see the different uh, analytics here okay so like how many people have subscribed how many people have clicked the link in your subscription that led to a purchase okay so since this is a uh, link to your Shopify account so you'll be able to analyze the data here like how much you were you able to generate from this campaign uh, how much were you able to gain for the past few days uh, which of these people opt in to use your promo codes or discount codes and then who unsubscribed based on your different uh, SMS messages okay So now, uh, this um, promotions will be able to give you more custom customizable uh, information sharing to your customers. So make sure that you do ask them for permission to uh, consent to getting or receiving SMS messages from you. And make sure that they have a visible way to uh, opt out in case they accidentally subscribe or they do no longer wish to receive communication from you and once your campaigns are up and running so like what i said uh, try to monitor the performance so through postscript uh they provide a comprehensive dashboard where you can see the metrics the open rates click-through rates conversion rates and use this data to be able to optimize your campaigns what do i need to edit what do i need to change should i include images or links or discount codes etc and yeah i think that's it so don't forget to experiment and iterate so sms marketing is really a powerful tool especially right now but it's still evolving so try to test different messaging different timings stra uh, targeting strategies too and see which one would work best so you can try the a b tests here and yeah a little creativity and persistence would really work so always try to check how much are you spending on your sms campaigns based on the amount you are earning also okay and once you get a hang of this so you'll be on your way to unlocking the full potential of postscript in your shopify okay and i guess that's it so there you have it guys uh 
This was a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Postscript, a short intro on it, and I hope you're able to harness the power of SMS marketing to grow your own business, okay? So thank you guys for tuning into this video, and until next time, happy marketing!